A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing people out there. Welcome back to this channeling session. This is part three of Divine Masculine's Homecoming. Faith can move mountains. In this audio, I'm going to be continuing with where I left with. Now, while doing this channeling, I am picking up the energies of many angry divine feminines. And uh, I can feel a lot of body aches they are going through. Some of them are going through a lot of headaches, especially on the left side of their head. A lot of them have shoulder pains. A lot of them have shoulder pains is coming out as very prominent, uh, just under, just below the nape, uh, on mostly on the right side. Most of their pains are not, is on the right side. I also come across energies of feminines who have a lot of pain when they get their uh, monthly cycles, um, extreme pain. They cannot even get up. They cannot even move. They cannot even walk. And uh, sometimes they're just sitting with a hot uh, water bag. And uh, some of them take a lot of pills to subside the pain. So a lot of them are going through a lot of pain because... There is a lot of resistance. There's a lot of things that they're holding on to, a lot of anger that they're holding on to. So I do pick on all of these energies too when I'm doing the channeling. But uh, all I'm going to say is in this uh, part three, I would tell you why this separation is important. I'm not obviously here to convince anyone. Uh, that's not my job and that's not what... I'm here to do and I'm not even getting paid to do this. So I'll, I'll be very honest. You guys must have figured out in all my channelings that I'm very honest. And uh, there's nothing I will achieve by not being honest, right? Honesty uh, should be should be something that we should all follow. We should all follow like all star seeds, all advanced souls, all empaths. They flourish the most when they're honest and they are here to share their truth with the whole planet, with the whole world. We are here to share our truth. That's also very important. That's a key part of this journey. To tell people that we exist no matter what happened to us, we exist. Now, why is this separation required? Separation, first of all, should not be seen like such a negative thing. In my opinion, separation is a gift, actually. It's such a nice time where you can do so much research work when you can do so much in fact uh, once you are out of this once you heal fully you would actually thank thank the universe for putting you through this separation because you'll be like if i would not have gone through this separation or if my divine masculine would not have made me feel like this i would have never said hello or i would have never hung out with the real me to be the real me first of all you got to forgive people for what they've done because it's not like you're going to do a favor on them. You don't forgive people for them. You forgive people for your own self so that you can feel light, so that you can be in the present moment. When you don't forgive, when you don't let go, you are going to carry a huge sack of baggage with you. And that baggage ain't going to do anything good to you. So my job is not to convince anyone. And honestly, I, I don't like to do that. I don't have to do that. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to be relaying the channeling. I'm just going to be relaying the messages. And it's up to you completely whether you keep it or you don't keep it. You use it or you don't use it. I just have to say one thing that the homecoming of the divine masculine is in the hands of divine feminine. And she has to rationally, first of all, look at her own wounds too. Now, most divine feminines who come to me, most divine masculines uh, who come to me for healing sessions, they always tell me that they are not ready. When they tell me they are not ready, I, I try to understand why they are not ready. And they give me X, Y, Z reasons. And it's very important for me to talk about this here because the reasons that they give, it's what they are mirroring from the divine feminine. For example... They say to me, someone said to me, it's the age gap. So I said, so do you have a problem with the age gap? And he said, no, of course not. I'm in love with her. Why would I have a problem with her age? If I had a problem with the age gap, I would not have fallen in love with her in the first, uh, in the first place. And I really don't care about it. 
So I said, then why do you think it's an issue? And then he said that I think it's an issue from her side. And he said that it's because I think that she keeps bringing it up. He said to me that she keeps bringing it up in most of our conversations. She keeps reminding me of it. She keeps telling me about it. And then she keeps saying that my family won't approve of you. It's going to be so difficult. So all of the problems that he talked about to me or anyone else who has talked to me about, these are the problems they told me that these things were given to them, presented to them by the divine feminine itself. So they keep repeating it or they keep saying it because they have triggers too. And when the divine feminine tells them that, look, these are the problems, these are the things that stop us, these are the things that, ha that, are, that are an issue, they pick it up because they love you. Obviously, they are scared too. So they feel, they have this fear that this woman who I love, she's going to really hurt me bad. Not only she's going to hurt me bad, but I love her. I'm going to take that, but I might do something bad to myself too. There is a lot of fear role play. So they have fears because you have fears. You have fears and they have fears. It's like you are mirroring each other. Just the way you mirror the love, you also mirror the fears. Fear and love are opposite energies of each other. Fear is literally the opposite of love. When you love, you don't fear. And when you fear, you can't love. So these are the things that I'm saying to all of you guys, honestly, and in a very straightforward way. And as I said that I have been there and I have done that. So there was a time when I used to hold on to a lot of anger. And this anger is not only directed towards the DM. It's coming from many people, like those people who bullied me in school and college. And this bullying thing goes on. But now when someone bullies me online or someone writes a nasty comment or someone writes something mean, it doesn't affect me the way it used to at one time. At one time, if someone would bully me, tell me that I'm not good enough, that I'm this and that, I would literally feel so bad. I would be like, I would be messed up for many days, probably weeks. Now it's like someone bullies me. It shows a lot about them than me and all I do is if I feel like answering back to them I do that if I don't I don't but in any case I feel that it's nothing to do with me there are many people who are online bullies there are many people who are cyber criminals there are many people who give rape threats to women just on a simple simple things like they see some video they don't like it they get triggered and they go ahead and give a rape threat now there are many laws against such type of people because the online world is becoming more and more important for the whole planet. So, and you can see in the lockdown how important online world has become. The digital media has become and falling in love in an age where you have people who also have online sex and there is online pornography and uh, most of the porn is actually, uh, it's already, it's, actually procured online so they these are the tools and then there is all the social networking there is you understand my point okay the point is that in this channeling i do see a divine masculine wanting to i actually see many of them this time and that's why i feel that this channeling is very intense i see divine masculines who have already done the homecoming why? Because the divine feminine, she let go, she worked on her blogs. You do not, you cannot say that you are perfect. If any one of you thinks you're perfect and you don't have any problems, you don't have any issues, you have nothing wrong in you, you are perfect, you are perfect right now, then you know you're lying to yourself. Keep a hand on your heart and you know you know that there are many issues that you also need to work out. There are many traumas you faced. You have many fears regarding love. He is just giving it back to you. He is just reflecting it to you in simple words. So I see a divine masculine that has done the homecoming and he is with the divine feminine, a beautiful divine feminine who is in her full power, as you can see in the picture. And this is the same picture which is in, in, my, in the cover of my book, In the Name of Love. And this picture has been painted by uh, one of uh, very uh, amazing painters in India here. 
uh, he's also a graphic illustrator and this we channel this painting we had many me meetings we had many meetings over this cover page and uh, he just every time he heard a story he actually cried he had tears in his eyes and he told me that look i'm going to be designing the cover but you are not going to give me any more instructions other than the stories you have told me i said all right i had something in my mind and i i didn't want to tell him but i had this whole extraterrestrial background then the earth the blue color uh, the divine masculine and the feminine it was all in my head but since he had asked me not to do it not to tell him I didn't say anything and when the cover page came to me I was stunned I was stunned because it was exactly what I was really hoping to see So these are the people I'm working with they're all beautiful people artistic people they're all working for the environment they're doing great things in life and they have been doing it silently for many years it's not like they're doing it for fame or publicity or money etc etc so i do see this and then i see a divine masculine who's really trying hard he's very sad he's very heartbroken he's on the other side he has all these allegations of cheating of going away of running away because after he broke up from the divine feminine he did go to other females and he did not do that because he wanted to do that it's because he thought that it's over and this is the only way to end the relationship this is the only way to uh, you know go away from her permanently but no matter who he went to he kept thinking more and more about the divine feminine and while he was running away the divine feminine constantly chased him she would keep sending him long messages she would keep calling him she would keep messaging him and he had all these fights in his house for her you know the mother was not approving the sisters were not approving there was a lot of mess that he's dealing with and on top of that she's blaming him for everything so he had nothing else to do but to block her and when he blocked her he was he was very sad and that's why that's when he took these sessions from me because he was full of guilt he obviously still has a lot of work to do because half of the times he does not even believe that you know there could be something like the soul connection something that would never go away when i told him that your love for this girl will never go away he was like he was totally like shocked first he was very happy and then he was like no 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 <laughs> this is too much for me this is too much it's very hard it's very intense how can i keep loving her like this for the rest of my life i i i will die i will i don't know like i'll go mental i'll go crazy and then i had to convince him like no relax it's all right you know everything is going to be okay you know we will we will figure it out and after a few eft sessions he was kind of relaxed and he was like okay to move ahead then i do see and this is not just one divine masculine because every case actually represents many other hundred other cases like that then i see there is another couple which is uh, totally stuck because of drug use a lot of drug use a lot of substance abuse uh, in their relationship uh, going on and because of these substances they are going through a lot of downer because you have to understand that anything that comes from the nature anything that's herbal anything which is a herb will never give you a downer or a bad feeling or a negative energy it will only uplift you but the moment you get into powders and pills and tablets and injections and all of these horrible things then you know that your your soul your soul will lose its power will lose its connection with the divine beings with the higher beings and you're going to create a wall of negative energy around you and when this negative energy is created around you the negative entities can penetrate they can penetrate and they can command you to do things they can take control of of your over your subconscious mind they can take control of your body and they will make you do things they will ask for sex they will ask for more alcohol more drugs they will ask for you know they will abuse people around it will be like a total mess so there this type of divine feminine and divine masculine they are in complete pain too but they don't understand it why they are in pain so every one of you out there you have to pray for one another you have to be like you know i i i pray for everyone out there i want to wish for everyone out there everyone out there not just you we have to be so selfless in this journey i am doing all of this and honestly i have no idea what is making me you know 
leave all my work and do all these channeling sessions and it's not easy actually uh, to do these channeling sessions i have to be like completely focused and completely into it and even if i have a headache even if i have body ache even if you know out of the blue i get a headache because i'm channeling so these energies come up and during the channeling i don't feel anything when i'm in the peak of the channeling i don't feel a single thing a single pain and then it comes back and then obviously i have to do more healing for my own self too so you have to understand that this is an ongoing process for some people sometimes in some cases and uh, even after the union happens the one big understanding that the divine masculine and the feminine will get is that they will know that this all of this that happens the fights the triggers this is real and this is not coming from one another but it's coming from the blocks and the all the unhealthy substance that's attached to them so they become more open to healing work they become more open to couple therapy they become more open to taking responsibility for their own happiness it's very very important to take responsibility for your own happiness so why is the separation happening the separation is happening simply because the universe wants you to be independent okay the dependency that the divine feminine has towards the masculine that has to go she has to heal the patriarchy wounds she has to heal the matriarchy wounds she has to do all of this inner work why do we do inner work we do inner work so that our energies get balanced and what are these energies that need balancing these are the feminine and the masculine energies that that exist in all of us so we all have divine feminine and masculine energy and a perfect example for this is the is the ardhanareshwar image of shiva and shakti so when shiva and shakti come together as ardhanareshwar which is half man half woman then they are in a perfect divine balance of masculine and feminine which means that the masculine and the feminine are incomplete without each other they complete each other so it's not about being dependent or independent later on it's about being interdependent so when there is this whole world this rage in the world this planet where people are fighting for feminism and for equal rights i want to say this that feminism is not about fighting for equal rights creating more war more anger more frustration more of all of these negative things rather thinking in your head that both man and woman are equal in the eyes of god and both of them have their own special gifts what a man can do a woman can do what a woman can do man can do so we must respect both of them instead of competing with each other instead of having this strong envy from each other towards each other so in this channeling i see couple of these cases of divine masculine who want to do the homecoming this is all about them really wishing to do it but some of them do not know how to do it they have no idea how to do it they truly 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 want to make things better but they they are clueless about it so i uh, i would say i would urge all the divine feminines who are listening to this that drop everything when you forgive it should not be about forgiving forgiving the the wrong doings it should be about forgiving the situation forgiving forgiveness is the is the thing it's the key to everything and when you surrender when you reach to the final stage of the twin flame journey the first stage of the final stage is the surrender stage you will automatically surrender when you start forgiving because you will then know that everything that happens and these small grudges like some people have really strange grudges like uh, some people like came to me and they said that he called me names there was one girl she come up to me and she asked for a healing session and she said he called me names so i i i am so like pissed off with him and i was like okay so if he called you names why can't you let that go haven't you called anyone else names like are you totally perfect you have never said anything mean to him she said yeah i have said it many times but he hit me right where it hurts the most i had shared some secrets with him and he used the same secrets in the fight and i said that you guys were fighting you must have said something mean too because no one it's a fight fight happens from both sides it's it's a responsibility of two people so anyway 
I want to cut all this out and I don't want to make it uh, this channeling turn into a soap opera show. All I want to say is that it's up to you. It's your life. It's up to you. I'm going to focus right now on the on the love that some people have shared to me. There are some very beautiful divine feminines out there and you can also read their comments. You all can read your comments and you can form a community and you can help each other. You can share your pain and your love with each other. Some of the divine feminines have such beautiful energy. They're so open for work. They're so open for healing. They're so open for, uh, you know, compassion, but they are also very much aware about setting boundaries. Uh, when they read these letters, I, I have channeled two letters of the Divine Masculine so far and I would be channeling more letters because they have been writing letters on various areas. So the first one was, uh, the first one that I channeled, Divine Masculine is taking responsibility for their separation in the first letter and in the second letter he is saying that I embrace our differences. So these two are very important topics and then there are further more letters that I have already channeled but I will share them one by one so um, you guys can benefit from them. So all I want to say is that I'm approaching the end of this channeling session and uh, whether you are a false twin, whether you are a twin, uh, whether you are in a soulmate uh, relationship, false twins also have it very hard. Uh, I know this again from personal experience that those people who are in false twin relationships, they go on like that for many years and there's so much toxicity, so much anger, so much frustration, so much pain they go through. My heart really goes out for all of them who have, who have witnessed this false twin relationship. It can really drive a simple normal person nuts. But you are in this journey for a reason because the universe knows that you can do it you can do it they have that belief in you the masters have the belief on you the benevolent beings have a belief on you that's why they know that you can do it also for this channeling there is a number that has appeared for me the number is triple three and uh, triple three is a very very important number and so triple three has four definitive meanings number one is that when you see triple three and i'm channeling this so i've been seeing triple three and i saw triple three a couple of times when i was doing this channeling and so this message is for everyone number one is that your ascended my masters are guiding you to move forward the masters often show up after you pray or after you do meditation and this is to tell you that they've heard your call for help. And I know uh, that, as I said in the previous video also, that previous audio also, that prayers always help. Whenever you pray to advanced beings, advanced souls, benevolent angels, masters and guides, they always help. I have always seen it every time without fail. There is some big change that follows 